Yo, I had some of y'all press press with the fact that I did Ariana Grande before joining Lucas. But yo, we're here and we are gonna do song by song till the album is done. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third, y'all guys third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner and becoming part of this family. Now, if I'm being honest with you, I wasn't expecting any new joiner for quite some time, or at least at least maybe another six months to a year because he had just put out the ADHD album. And actually, like I feel like this album was released as fast as it was because of how how poorly that album did in not not necessarily poorly, but in comparison to what people were like were expecting and i think that i think that it performed in the way that it did because of the unorthodox release pattern where he was putting out one single at a time like no one wants to spend six months trying to get into an album so i feel like the fact that he decided to do it in that unorthodox way definitely was a detriment and it backfired on him so i feel like we got this ep here because we're trying to make up for what for what was lacking in the last album release but either way we got new joiner and i'm here for it and i'm hyped and i'm actually in my mind i'm considering Considering this is debut album just because this is the way that album should be released so we're gonna go track by track starting with evolution we're skipping the intro and we're gonna skip the skits I'm gonna listen to them just so that way I know exactly what I'm getting into with those but they're not gonna be their own individual reaction we're just gonna go song by song so let's get it started follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest just like the channel the links are down in the description below and we got joiner Lucas title track evolution let's get it I want to expand my brain but I'm trapped in prison Got me shackled up with chains for the max sentence. I'm trying to get out my ways to bring me back to senses. And maybe teach myself some game and turn my rags to riches. Mm. Yo, first off, this beat's super unorthodox for like an opening beat, especially a title track beat. Like you would expect it to be a traditional hip hop. This, this has like a different bounce to it, but I fuck with it. I like it a lot. And also his delivery I'm fucking with for sure, because it's not like your typical rap delivery. Like Snitch, Snitch is your typical like riding the beat, you know, going at it. This right here is kind of like, this is almost like it fits in that Nipsey Hustle RIP type of like delivery flow. Where like you're talking on top of the beat, you're not really rapping, but you're more like just spitting game, you know what I'm saying? And it just happens to rhyme and it just happens to follow the beat, but you're not you're not allowing the beat to determine the flow. This is kind of just talking over the beat. It's dope because he is gonna, he is spitting game so far. He's like, yo, I wanted to get out of my mind. I wanted to evolve. I wanted to expand my horizons. I wanted to like uh, evolution, you know? Teach myself some game and turn my rags to riches. Mm. Ain't no excuses, we all start at the bottom. Mm. Gotta learn to speak your truth, and that's just part of the process. Should have find the solution. It's, hey, yo, it, it's this, we, we all start at the bottom. And that's dope because most rappers, you know, from what you know or what we see in, in mainstream media, they all come from poverty. They all literally come from the bottom of the totem pole. But even the ones that don't, like let's just say Drake, for example, obviously he was not starting from the bottom other than the bottom of the rap game. And then let's just say someone like Lil Dicky, it's, you know, six figure job that he quit so that way he could rap. Like even if you don't start from the bottom in the lower level, you start from the bottom of the rap game. Like no one has an upper hand, even if you're in the public eye if you try to switch to rap in the way that drake did but he was trash it wouldn't work and then he said we all i like, gotta find our voice it's all just part of the process like literally that i feel like that's what a lot of rappers have to end up doing because most people who start rapping they start rapping because they were inspired by their favorite rappers so their flow starts out like that like whatever their favorite rapper sounds like so as they grow they start to hone their own sound and they literally start to find their voice on the mic and it's part of the process and what's a process evolution you know it's dope you pulling flowers out the roots when I just wanted to blossom. Ooh. And I'm exhausted, but I tried my best. We need to change, cause we was tired of stress. Trying to flex. Bunch you with chain, but couldn't buy respect. Ah. Not oppressed. We can't evolve unless we follow steps. It's not a test. <laughs> tired of fronting like we not oppressed. And I Yo, he said we can't evolve unless we follow steps. Like following the steps of the person before you, or like following the steps of God, but literally like the evolutional chart. Like if you look like going from, from monkeys all the way to basically human beings and our species the way it sits now the chart is always like them walking to the next to the next evolutionary step so we can't evolve unless we follow steps it's fire dog and he says you pull enough flowers out the roots when i just wanted to blossom like you don't want to see me win you don't want to see me grow and become the person you want to keep me in, in this in this cage where i where where i started you think that this is me when i when i this would this was just the jumping just the jump off point See, this is what I mean by he's not going to be spitting like simile or metaphors. Like he is just going to be bars in the sake like that. What he's saying is some intuitive shit and it's and it's hard. It's not a test. Tired of fronting like we not oppressed. And I thought if I was rich, then all my problems be through. 
Till I made a few million and now I got more problems than you I know it feels good to win, but it hurts a lot when you lose Don't ever say what you gon' do, unless you following through I'm talking execution Don't ever say what you gon' do, unless you following through Bro, the, the people that are the loudest, they're always the ones that have the weakest follow through rate Like they're talking the talk because they know that it sounds good But they just, they don't want to put in the grind They don't want to walk the walk So don't be, don't, be, don't be talking all your steps unless you following through, you know? That's fucking fire. This is what I'm talking about. Like, those are bars. I'm fucking with this beat and I'm fucking with this delivery, like riding the beat. Just R.I.P. Nipsey, dog. I feel like this is this is his style right here. And I don't know where I'm going, but I'm learning as I'm growing. That's the evolution. Mm. Hope I don't finish last. I'm still healing from my past. I need some retribution. I'm still healing from my past. I need some retributions. Like, literally, people are saying that. You know, the United States needs to give retributions because of the past, the past indifferences and the past, the past cruelty to indigenous people and slaves and the whole thing. Did a lot of getting even, but I'm sick and tired of beefing. What's the resolution? Resolution, resolution. I'm talking evolution. Evolution, evolution. Gotta be honest, I never thought that I would pop this quickly. Feels good. It's dope the way that he goes, just transitions right back into it. I gotta be honest. And then the beat goes whoosh, and then back right back into the beat. That's dope. Right here. Gotta be honest, I never thought that I would pop this quick. That's dope. Feels good to look at my phone and see Rihanna hit me. Nah, it ain't on no shit like that. Sure that you got us to me. Just one of my friends that I can vent to when my conscience give me. Bro, imagine like he said, I wasn't expecting to pop off this quick. Imagine going from being the no one to seeing everything you blow up and all you did was just grow up and seeing it. Nah, that's that's saying goodbye Hollywood by Eminem. But what I was gonna say is like imagine be literally being a no one and then you and you start rapping, then you go to youtube rap and then you do your conceptual rap and then you do then you're doing remixes to like beats that are popular right now then you do a track with eminem and then you got your own album coming out and then all of a sudden rihanna's hitting you on the text like all within two years bro that's nuts look i ain't into what niggas is doing i'm on some other shit i've never been a type to turn up and be on that clever shit i'm looking at niggas like bro you grown how you still love this shit exactly i'd rather dog. be home and watch some movies with my son and shit Ooh. Yo, how 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 you still turning up? How you still in the club? How you, you we're 30, we're 33, we're 32, we're 28. How is this shit? How how are you still flexing like this and still getting enjoyment out of it? What you should be enjoying is spending your time quality with your family, saving that bread, saving for a long term because once you fade out the spotlight, what are you going to do after that, you know? Spin them grown man bars, bro. Plus I ain't trying to impress nobody. That shit get old quick. Like staring at an old flick. Trying to travel back in 06. Maybe hope for what I won't get. All the temporary happiness only lasts until you grow sick. And them lights start to go dim. And the walls start to close in. Hey. And the time start to pass you by. Don't act surprised. Better be careful what you ask from God. I had some jobs. Shit, I quit. Yo, took you better be careful what you ask from, from God. But yo, he literally, I literally just said what he's saying. Like, like, like what are you going to do when them lights grow dim? Like, like, what are you going to have? What are you going to fall back on? Who are you going to be once no one cares who you are? You know, once you're out of that spotlight, because it is going to happen. It's going to happen to Joyner. It's going to happen to M. It's going to happen to fucking every anybody who's anybody in the rap game. They are eventually going to have to come to an end. So what are you going to do after that? I'm starting to pass you by. Don't act surprised. Better be careful what you ask from God. I had some jobs. Shit, I quit and took control, my nigga. Got tired of building companies up that I ain't own, my nigga. Ooh. It's time to grow, my nigga. Yo, I had I had some jobs that I had to quit and, and do shit on my own because I was I was tired of fucking building companies that I didn't own. Fire, dog. Like just the just the sentiment of like you got to go out and get it yourself. Like like no one's gonna it's no one's gonna it's not gonna come to you. That's not how the world works. Go out and get the shit, and then once you have it, grow and evolve, and make sure you never lose it. Dope. And I don't know where I'm going, but I'm learning as I'm growing. That's the evolution. I don't finish last. I'm still healing from my past. I need some retribution. Did a lot of getting even, but I'm sick and tired of beefing. What's the resolution? I'm talking evolution. There's a lot of getting even, but I'm sick and tired of the beefing. What's the resolution, dog? We grown men. We not we not about this beef shit no more. What's the point of beef if we're not getting to some resolution? Like like I'm I'm tired of just I'm tired of just talking just to talk. What, what do I got to do to get to the bottom of this? And that right there is growth and evolution, especially coming off of the track that we did. What was the name of the track? Revenge, which is like the exact opposite sentiment of this track. Yo. But yo, this track was dope. 
Now, perfect, perfect pace, perfect rhythm, perfect speed, perfect sound, like uh, like the unorthodox type of beat. It's kind of like West Coast, but but not really. And then he had that Nipsey Hustle esque type flow, where he's just kind of talking over the beat and staying on rhythm. But he but he's really just talking and spitting game for free ninety nine, making sure y'all understand that like yo, we we're we're evolving over here. We're we're not the same kids we were no more. I definitely, definitely fuck with this for the first track on the album, 100%. But yo, that's the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video and leaving a comment down below. All that helps the algorithm catch it and send it out there to other people that are wanting to see people's reactions and reviews to this track. If you like what you see enough or you're excited or anticipating the rest of the album, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Because like I said, we will be doing the whole album and we will be doing it in order. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel. The links are down in the description below. If you're someone who wants to support the channel monetarily, go check out the Patreon. First link in the description below. The Patreon is really the only reason why I'm able to do this full time for y'all and spit these videos out as fast as I can. So if you're, you're in a monetary position where you get enough value out of the channel and you think you want to throw some money my way for support, I would greatly appreciate it. Hit up the Discord, also link down in the description below if you want to talk to me. But that's really it. I appreciate your time, ladies and gentlemen. And like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.